Because the needs of older adults are so varied, the programs and services that the Senior Source offers are designed to address all aspects of aging. My name is Sarah Cooper. I'm 87 years old. Ms. Cooper is a former Senior Companion volunteer. Um, she served in the program for 10 years going to the homes of other older adults to help them prevent isolation and loneliness. And so she served several people, just going to keep them company, um, running errands, helping in the home with meal preparation, but overall just being a great friend. Mom is a caregiver, that she cares for all the family. And so it was a really, really good fit. It got her out of the house, kept her active, and being active, it kept her mind sharp. After I got the job with Senior Source, it seemed like it was better than any of them paying jobs that I had because it was just like family, you know? Ms. Cooper was a volunteer for 10 years in the program, um, and then she retired. And once she retired, she began to have some health declines of her own. I was not ready for that. It, it came really quickly. It was like a week. We were faced with mom had to go and do dialysis. That was a hard one for us. So now Ms. Cooper benefits from the program in the sense of she receives a, a companion who comes to visit her, which is awesome to be able to give back to her in that way because she's given of herself for so many years to others. It's comforting for me to know that while I can still work, there is someone at the house with mom making sure that she is okay and most importantly, getting her to doctor's appointments or any other fun things that she would like to do. Senior Source was very good to me. Without the programs and services offered by the Senior Source, many older adults in our area wouldn't have the assistance, the protection, or the connection to the quality of life that we all deserve. I'm 92 years old. I was born in May and I've been working with the Senior Source for 21 years, and our group is called the A-Team. RSVP is one of the three Senior Corps programs that's supported by the Corporation for National and Community Service and sponsored locally by the Senior Source. RSVP mobilizes volunteers 55 and over to cost-effectively meet community needs, strengthen community, and increase civic engagement through service. We couldn't do our volunteer work unless the van came to pick us up because we don't drive very much anymore. The Weiss Park ladies are one of my favorite groups because they're one, actually they're one of the older groups and they're small but mighty. And when I go and meet those ladies in the morning and pick them up, they're always so enthusiastic and ready to go. Really, there have been so many studies that show that people who volunteer live longer, healthier lives. And the Weiss Park A-Team is a prime example of that. They're sharp as a tack. They have a great sense of humor. They're always ready to work and ready to do whatever is needed to be done. Volunteering keeps us out of the street and out of the sports bars. The Senior Source serves the most active older adults by connecting them to volunteer and employment opportunities, as well as the most frail seniors who may need our protection in nursing homes as well as assisted living centers. Residents in nursing homes and assisted livings are pretty vulnerable. A lot of them don't receive visitors or they might not have the cognitive capacity to be able to voice complaints and so unfortunately we do see that there can be abusive situations or neglect, certainly substandard care in some of these communities. The facility before here was one of the worst. The owner padlocked the refrigerator there was no bathing the whole time I was out there. I think I bathed in a sink. Man, you weren't allowed out of your room unless you had to go to the restroom, and man, you better haul it in and out. 
Well, there was one night I fell out of bed, so I was screaming for help. Nobody would come and help me. I thought, oh my word, now what? So I kept screaming and then I thought, okay, Stephanie, you know better, call 911. I did, the ambulance crew came out, that I was screaming, I'm in here, I'm in here, I'm in here. And the owner walks the ambulance attendants outside the door, shuts the door, and I hear her tell her daughter, okay, they're gone, they've driven off. So I go back to 911, the police officers arrived, they came up to the door, and they started screaming, Stephanie, are you in there? And I said, yes, I am. That was the most life-threatening facility I've ever been in. In this particular case, because it was so severe and because she was so concerned about backlash and retaliation, I was able to coordinate and call the administrator of a different assisted living facility nearby. So we were able to help coordinate moving her out that same night. After going to the emergency room, I mean, the senior source ombudsman really protected me being there that quickly. Once I made the call to Karen's office, I was out of there. ASAP, and I, I wouldn't still be here if she hadn't have gotten me. I've never seen that quick a response, and I'm very appreciative to Senior Source and Karen.